Hello students, in the last video, we learned about the structure of heart, the blood vessels and the different components of blood. In this video, let us understand about the cardiac cycle. So cardiac cycle is basically the cyclic contraction and relaxation of heart for pumping the blood around the body. It has three phases. One is joint diastole. Diastole is when the heart is relaxed. Systole is when the heart is contracting. So the three phases are joint diastole, atrial systole and ventricular systole. Let us understand all these phases in detail. So diastole as I told you is the relaxed state of all heart chambers. When the tricuspid and the bicuspid walls open, the blood from the pulmonary vein and the vena cava flows into the left and right ventricles respectively through the left and the right atrium. At this time, the semilunar walls are closed. This is called joint diastole. Then we have atrial systole. So now the SA node generates an action potential. Because of this, atrial systole happens. That is both the atria, they contract and this increases the flow of the blood into the ventricles by about 30%. Then we have ventricle systole. The action potential is conducted to the ventricle side by the AV node and the AV bundle from where the bundle of his transmits it to the ventricular musculature. Because of this, the ventricles contract and we call it as ventricular systole. So during this time, the atria are relaxed, so they undergo diastole. This ventricular systole increases the ventricular pressure causing closure of the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves due to the attempted black flow of the blood into the atria. So the semilunar valves open so deoxygenated blood enters the pulmonary artery from the right ventricle and oxygenated blood enters the iota from the left ventricle. So the ventricles now relax and the ventricular pressure falls causing the closure of semilunar valve which prevents the backflow of the blood into the ventricles. The tricuspid and the bicuspid valves are open by the pressure in the atria. Ventricles and atria undergo joint diastole and cardiac cycle in this way keeps repeating. A cardiac cycle is completed in about 0.8 seconds. So one heartbeat is what is one cardiac cycle. So normal heartbeats about 70 to 70 time, 75 times per minute. If we hear carefully, then there are two sounds produced, which the doctor can hear using the stethoscope. The first sound is lup, which is due to the closure of the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve. And the second is dub, which is due to the closure of the semilunar valve. So one heartbeat is one lup and one dub. We use ECG to obtain an electrocardiogram. This is basically a graphical representation of the electrical activity of the heart in, during one cardiac cycle. So to get an ECG, a patient is connected to a machine with three electrical lids, one on each wrist and one to the left ankle that can monitor the heart activity of the patient for a detailed evaluation of the heart's function Multiple leads are attached to the chest region also. So if we look at the ECG, then it consists of P wave, which represents the depolarization of atria, which causes the atrial systole. Then we have QRS complex, which represents the depolarization of ventricle, which is the ventricle systole. And then we have T wave, which represents the repolarization of the ventricle. So if there is any deviation from the standard ECG, then we know that the person has some diseases. As we studied in the last video, mammals show double circulation. That means the blood flows through the heart twice. So this includes pulmonary and systemic circulation. Pulmonary circulation is basically the circulation between lungs and heart. Pulmonary is the scientific names of lungs, name of the lungs. So that's why it's called pulmonary circulation. So here what happens is the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle goes to the pulmonary artery, then it goes to the lungs which gets oxygenated and then it goes to the pulmonary veins and from there it goes to the left atrium. 
then we have what is called as systemic circulation so this is circulation between hearts and various parts of the body so here the oxygenated blood from left ventricle goes to the aorta that goes to the arteries which goes to the arterioles from there it goes to capillaries then it goes to various tissue then the deoxygenated blood from the tissues goes to the venules then it goes to the vein which then goes to the vena cava and then it comes to the right atrium so this systemic circulation provides the required nutrients oxygen and other substances with the, which the tissues need and it takes away all the co2 and harmful substances now let us understand what is hepatic portal system it is basically a system which includes the hepatic portal vein which carries the blood from intestine to the liver before it is delivered to the systemic circulation then we have something called as coronary circulatory system so it is a system of coronary vessels that circulate blood to and from the cardiac musculature then we have lymphatic system so lymphatic system consists of lymph lymph vessel and lymph node as the blood passes through the capillaries in the tissue these capillaries have holes so some water and soluble substances are filtered out from the plasma into the intercellular space to form tissue fluid it has same mineral distribution as that in the plasma some tissue fluids enter the lymphatic system and the tissue fluid in them is called lymph so this has to be drained back to the major veins so this is what forms the lymph lymph is basically a colorless fluid which has lymphocytes so now let us try and understand the functions of this lymph it is basically the middleman between the blood and the tissue tissue fluid helps to exchange the nutrients gases etc between blood and cells so it carries plasma proteins synthesized in liver and blood it transports the digested fat fat soluble vitamins hormones etc it is responsible for filtration of bacteria and other foreign particles the lymph nodes also produce wbc and antibodies so they help in immunity let us now look at some disorders of the circulatory system so the first one is high blood pressure or hypertension this is when the pressure of the blood on the walls of the blood vessels is high the normal bp is about 120 to 80 mm which includes the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure so when there is any change the person is said to have hypertension when it is very high so if the individual reportedly shows a bp of 140 to 90 then we say that the person has hypertension it can lead to various diseases and it can affect vital organs like brain kidney when the blood pressure is higher than normal bp then the person should change their diet and eat only healthy food to overcome this disease then the second disease is coronary artery disease so your what happens is fat cholesterol and fibrous tissue are deposited in the coronary artery so they basically block the artery and the lumen of the artery gets narrower because of this it is also called as atherosclerosis the next one is when there is acute pain in the chest so this is generally because there is oxygen deficiency to the heart muscle it occurs when there is improper blood flow so we generally see in people with middle age or those who have older ages so this coronary artery generally leads to heart failure for whatever reason if the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the needs of the body then there is congestion of lungs which can be considered one of the main symptoms so now we say that the person has heart failure cardiac arrest is what we call as heart attack this is when a person's heart stops beating completely right so the person will obviously not get the required oxygen which is required for the body to sustain itself heart attack is the sudden damage of heart muscle due to inadequate blood supply so in all these cases if the person suffers from all this then the person should take care of the symptoms and consult a doctor at the correct time 
आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड एवरीथिंग अबाउट द हार्ट इट्स डिसीजेस इट्स स्ट्रक्चर थैंक यू